Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can optimize the lengths of a Delta Robot's linkages. The steel rods seen here are temporary and just placeholders until I can get all the programming down and I will be replacing them with carbon fiber tubes once I've optimized the length for the speed, range of motion, and torque that I'm looking for. For the purpose of this video I'm going to be referring to the two main linkages as a bicep and a forearm and the base is the motor mount at the top and the end effector is the hand of the robot. An easy way to visualize this system is to think of the bicep as a gear attached to a motor shaft and the forearm as another gear attached to an output shaft. So when the forearm is larger than the bicep you end up with a larger range of motion, lower speed, and more torque similar to a gear reducer. When the bicep is larger than the forearm you end up with a lower range of motion higher speed and lower torque, similar to a gear multiplier. When the bicep is equal to the forearm, you basically have a one-to-one -one resolution. Now I want you to ignore the lower speed, the higher speed, the more torque, you know, lower torque, because the main thing here you really need to pay attention to is the range of motion, because the others can be offset and compensated for with your motor choice. The end effector is essentially the hand of the robot. For optimal stability, the effector offset should be minimized in respect to the maximum arm space you can fit in for your design. So the most common stepper motor is 1.8 degrees per step. So that means 200 steps per revolution. Stepper motors are rarely ran at one full step, so they're often micro step to give you a better increase in resolution and the shaft turns smoother. but you can see that as you increase the number of micro steps, your torque drops quite a bit. So at 1 16th micro steps, you're, you end up with 3,200 steps per revolution, but only 9.8% of the full rated torque. One way around this is to use a gearbox. So for example, I'm going to be using a five to one gearbox. And not only do you get an increase in torque, but you get an increase in resolution. So if you just look at the one eighth micro steps, you got 97% of the original rated torque and 0.045 degrees per step. So I found this really useful website that helps you calculate the proper linkages for your application. And all you need to do is enter in all the information and it will give you the range of motion and the resolution as well as you can even put the degrees that the motors, uh, the bicep linkage is at and it will give you the XYZ coordinates in space. So this is the information from the machine that I have as is and you can see that the resolution isn't that great. So, And I also don't think that the range of motion is that great. So I'm going to be experimenting with different values here. So let's just put in 400 millimeters for the forearm length and you'll see that the resolution got worse. But because I'm going to be using a 5 to 1 gearbox, the 3200 steps per revolution becomes 16,000 steps per revolution. So the resolution is a lot better there and the range of motion is better because the forearm length got longer. If you're interested in more of the mathematics behind the Delta Robot, I'll leave a link in the description for this website as well. And it kind of explains some of the history behind the robot and how it was invented in the early 80s in Switzerland by Professor Raymond Clavel. And it also includes some sample programs. So if you want to get into that, it's a pretty good resource there. Okay guys, well I hope you liked the video and if you want to help support this channel and help me make more videos like this, you can support me on Patreon and if not, just simply liking and commenting on my videos helps too. So, thanks. See you next time.